When you're designing digital products and print-on-demand products to sell online, you gotta be really careful with how you're using the fonts and graphics that you've either downloaded for free or purchased from a website. We're gonna go over where to find free fonts and graphics, as well as paid ones, how you're allowed to use them, and what to do when you're just not sure. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra, and I talk about creating and selling digital products online to make passive income. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get notified every time I post a new video every Tuesday. I get asked a lot on what graphics you're allowed to use and what's included in each license. Because the last thing we want is to run into legal issues and copyright issues down the road. A little disclaimer before we get started, I'm not a lawyer. I've just been selling digital products for a while and I've done a lot of research on this. And I've also contacted multiple platforms and artists where I want to purchase graphics and fonts to ask them if I'm using it the correct way. So this is all based on my experience and my opinion on how to use these properly. Now that we have that out of the way, the first platform I want to talk about is Creative Fabrica. So you will need an account on Creative Fabrica. It's free to sign up. So I'll leave my link in the description box down below so you can sign up today. And all you have to do is go to freebies right here. And then you can actually filter it for, let's say, free fonts, free graphics. It just depends on what you're looking for. But under all freebies, you can also just scroll through and see what you like. So I'm going to click on this one for example. And you can see that you can download it for free right here and right under the download button, it says commercial usage allowed. So you know you can use this under a commercial license, but I always recommend that you click here to read what the commercial license covers. It lays out what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do perfectly. So right here it says create unlimited physical end products and unlimited digital end products, which is perfect for let's say printable wall art or print on demand products. Now, although this already tells you that you can use this for products that you're selling you do want to make sure that you read through what you're not allowed to do but if you actually scroll down it shows you how you're allowed to actually use the product so let's say you downloaded a package of flowers for free or you purchased it well you can't just take a flower or just any element from the package put it on a print and sell it as is instead you have to create a whole unique design using some elements of the package as well as elements maybe from a another package. So for example, here they've used maybe like a watercolor and they've added a quote on top. So you can see now this is a completely unique design using different elements. If you scroll down even further, it gives you another example of a quote here. So you can't just slap this on a mug and sell it as is. You would have to either change the color or maybe add some other graphics to it to make it your own. Now, the great thing is if you have any questions at all on specific designs that you're creating, you can always contact them directly. I've done this multiple times and usually platforms and artists are very quick at getting back to you. But in my opinion, it's pretty straightforward if you just read through the license. The amazing thing about Creative Fabrica also is that their graphics are super affordable. Some of them are a dollar, some of them are three dollars, for example. And if you wanted access to unlimited fonts and graphics, you can actually sign up and it's only $19 a month and you can cancel at any time. So that's also an option for you too. The next platform you can get free graphics from is thehungryjpeg.com. On the homepage of the Hungry JPEG, you can just go to freebies right over here. And these change quite often. So if there's any that you actually like, make sure to grab it right away. So let's go to this one, for example. You can see all the hot air balloon images and florals that you get with this. And right over here under additional information, it tells you the license you get, which is a complete license. We'll look at that in a second, but also take note of the file type. It's a PNG file, which is good because that means that these graphics will have a transparent background, which is something you want to look for because it's super easy for you to incorporate it in your designs. So let's go and click on the license type. It tells you right here that you can create unlimited projects under digital and physical products, which is great. Of course, you do want to read what you're not allowed to do, which they lay it all out for you here, as well as frequently asked questions. And it shows you exactly how to use it and how not to use it, just like Creative Fabrica. So if you were to purchase a font, for example, you can't just put all the characters onto a print and sell it because now you're a direct competitor of this artist. Instead, come up with a quote, place it in a creative way. You can add maybe some graphics from another package and put a background to it. I love watercolor, so I would probably just put some sort of like pink or blue watercolor behind 
a really nice quote. If you keep scrolling down, it shows you that if you were to either download a graphic under the freebies or purchase a graphic, you can't just put an image of this cat with a quote because this is still very, very similar. Instead, you want to combine some more elements, maybe change the background to make this unique enough that it becomes your own. The last one I wanna show you on here is this one because I know that some people want to start a print on demand shop. So if you're selling t-shirts, it's the same rule where you want to completely make it your own by adding some phrases and other graphics. And by the way, these are all super easy to create in Canva, which we will go over a little bit later in this video. Another great one is Pixabay. Pixabay is great because it has a lot of stock photos and videos that you're allowed to use in social media. But for now, let's go to vectors. And these are free vectors that you can use in your design. So let's click on this one. It says here under Pixabay license, it's free for commercial use, no attribution required. But checking what's covered under the license, you are given a commercial license from this free content from Pixabay, but you'll notice right here that you're not allowed to sell unaltered copies of an image or sell an exact copy of a stock photo as a poster, print, or a physical product. If you ever have any questions on how you're using these graphics for your design, you can always go to the artist and just send them a quick message to ask. I hope you're getting value out of this video so far. If so, please give it a like and let me know in the comments if this is making any sense. The next platform I absolutely love is Creative Market. You do need to have an account for Creative Market. It's free to sign up. So I will also leave my link in the description box down below. So once you've signed up, you can head over to the bottom here where it says free goods and you get six free goodies to download every Monday and it's available all week. So they do change often. But what you do want to check is what license you're getting. So I'll give you this example. So for these graphics, I am able to download it for free, but you can see under license type that I'm only getting the personal license. So I I cannot use these images for any of my designs, but let's go to one that you do get a commercial license for. So this font, for example, let's click on this one. This is free for me to download the desktop license, which is the commercial license for fonts. So if you go under license type and go to what is this, it tells you right here under a desktop license that you can use this for design or print on demand applications. So you are allowed to use this for free in this case. Now, if you do want to purchase some graphics, I do want to show you the commercial license and what it covers. So let's say you're looking for nursery clip art and let's click on this one here. So you can purchase the commercial license or extended commercial. Now it's usually recommended for commercial, but it really depends on what your goals are and how your business is. So if you go under license type, it breaks down the differences between all the licenses. So under commercial, you are allowed to sell up to 5,000 and products. But if you are planning to sell up to 250,000 and products, then you will need to purchase the extended commercial license. Now I can't tell you which one to pick. It just depends on your business. So I want to show you a quick example in Canva where I've taken graphics that I've purchased from creative market and how I'm putting together an art print. So I grabbed this one from one package and these flowers came from a different package. So I would go ahead and maybe change the background to sort of a light gray. And then I would add some text. So let's add in a quote with a font that I have a commercial license to. So let's just put that right there and I'll change the color. So this is an example of something you can do. I might even go ahead and add a border to make it even a little more different. But this is an example of taking a few different elements and a quote and then making it your own unique piece. This leads me to the fifth option, which is Canva itself. So if you go to the search function right here and type in an image that you're thinking of, so let's say a flower, and some of these are free for the pro account only, but some of them are free for the free version as well. So let's say I wanted to use this arrangement. All you have to do is click on these three dots here and click on free. It tells you what you're allowed to do. So you can use this media safely in Canva design for personal or commercial use, and you can sell it on merchandise without restrictions. And then of course it tells you right here what you're not allowed to do. If you ever have questions on these graphics, contact Canva directly because they're always available to help you out. Now for text, there are some fonts that are free and some fonts you have to pay for. So for example, let's say I wanted this text, quicksand. Well, all I have to do is go to Google, type in quicksand font. The first website that comes up is Google fonts. 
And you'll see here that you can use them freely in your products and projects, print or digital, commercial or otherwise. So you can use quicksand for free, for example. But let's say I wanted this font here, which is the Britney font. If I go back to Google and type in Britney font, the first website that comes up is Defont. And you'll see here that it is free for me to download, but it's only free for personal use. So it does say that no commercial use is allowed. And it says, here is the link to purchase the commercial license. So always make sure to read the page where you're wanting to download the font or the graphic because all the information will be there and you can always contact the artist directly if you have any questions. Now once you're ready to purchase graphics and fonts for your designs you can definitely use the platforms I've already mentioned but there is another one that I want to include and that is Etsy. Etsy is full of artists that are selling clip art for a commercial license and for a super low price. So let's go to the search bar and type in clip art commercial use. Now every artist policies are different so you always want to read their specific policies let's go to this one for example you can see that this is for commercial use but under license type you have to select the one you want so if I selected small commercial it will cost me seven dollars and 68 cents but I'm gonna go to the description and see what small commercial actually means it says that I can sell up to 1,000 products with this clip art and if I want to sell more than that I have to contact them for licensing options like I mentioned, every artist is different. So let's look at another example. If I scroll down over here, I absolutely love this fashion clip art. So let's see what the policies are here. You always want to read the description and check their policies. So right here, it says commercial use clip art and there's no option. So it looks like it's $6.95. And if I go to description under commercial use, it says, yes, you can with no credit required and have a read through our policies. So you definitely want to go to the shop itself and read the policies. So it says, right here under finished items you don't need additional licenses and finished includes digital and tangible like art prints invitations and all these other products so that tells me that there's no limited quantity and I can use this clip art for as many art prints as I want but if I had any questions I would contact the shop owner directly I hope that was helpful for you please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out the description box for the links to creative market and creative fabrica you can join it for free today and grab your free goodies right away. You can head over to my Canva tutorials playlist, which I will link for you right over here. You can get started on creating digital products in Canva using the free version. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.